Hi everyone, this is Perry with the Hampton Network, uh, back with another video. So today we're going to be discussing how to create a lead magnet and by using uh, Claude and also one of my favorite tools, uh, Gamma, to actually make the lead magnet actually look very professional and have great design quality. So that's something that interests you. Let's go ahead and get started. So right now I'm in Claude and I've built a project for Claude. It's actually called Lead Magnet Creator. So all I did was just typed in help here, as you can see. And then we have to provide the topic and the target audience. So for this example, we'll just say uh, the topic is AI consulting. And we're going to say the target audience is um, aspiring entrepreneurs. And we'll go ahead and say beginners, just to keep it simple. Okay. So we go ahead and hit enter or click on this orange arrow here. And it's going to go ahead and start creating the content for the lead magnet. It's also going to generate us some AI art prompts as well. So as you can see here, it's it's came up with the outline. Now it's actually doing the content. So this won't take uh, too much longer. I'll just let you guys watch it here in real time. Claude is actually one of my favorite tools along with ChatGPT, but Claude is actually very good at, at writing. So that's why I would use uh, Claude to do these lead magnets. I mean, you could use ChatGPT as well. But they're both going to do great. So as you can see here, we have all the content. Okay, we have four chapters here. Okay. And it also gives a conclusion and action steps. However, this is one of my favorite uh, actual functionality of this project that I created. It's going to give you AI art prompts for the actual images as well. You know, for your lead magnet. So we have the cover image, okay, it's chapter one, chapter two, chapter three, and chapter four, and a conclusion image. So what we'll do now is all I'm going to do is just simply copy all this right here, all the way down to the cover images. I'll leave the prompts. Uh, let me do the action steps, okay. So we'll do everything except the AI art prompts for now, okay. So we copy that. Now let me go over into one of my other favorite tools. Okay. And this is Gamma. I'll leave a link in the description below so you can access this. I would encourage everyone to do that because it is absolutely wonderful. So let's go create new from AI. And you see you have three options. One is paste in text. Two is generate. Then you can import a file or URL. Today, we're going to focus on pasting in text because remember, we copied that over from Claude. So all you simply have to do is put all your text right here. Okay. See that? We pasted it all. Okay. So what I want to do, this creates wonderful presentations, but we're not going to focus on that today. We're going to focus on lead magnets. So what we'll do is we'll create a document. So you select document. Okay. And what we want to do we want, we don't want to select default. Just go to the letter size. because We want to be like eight, eight and a half by 11. Okay. So we'll go ahead and select continue. Okay. Now this is very important. So the text content and the settings here, we want to preserve. Okay. Because it says it want to reform it, but keeping all your original content. So that's exactly what we wanted to do. We want English. Okay. Or you can select whatever language you want, but we'll just stay with English. The AI images. I always stick with AI images. Now, what I like to do here is I just do illustration. Now, here you can put a longer prompt. You can also put in photorealistic, whatever type of images you want. I like image style when I'm doing these uh, lead magnets. Also, your image model. You have several options here. Uh, Ideogram 2.0. Is actually great. 2.0 Turbo is great too. Flux, and they have Flux Pro in here as well. So, but for this demonstration or this test, we're going to go ahead and use um, 
and you go around 2.0. Okay, see so the format, so document format. Let's take a look at this again. Remember, we have it as document and letter. Okay, so now that you have that set, let's click on continue. And we just selected eight cards. You can also, depending on the, the uh, plan that you have, you can go up to, I think it's 30 cards. But we'll just stick to eight because I want to keep this video as short as I can. So now, <clears throat> you can choose whether you want a dark theme, light, professional, or colorful. Or... You can just select all of them here, but let's just take a look at professional, okay? And we'll just take a look at something, something. You can get a preview of the themes right here just by simply hovering over them. Okay, so let's just choose one here. I'll just choose this blue, okay? So now after you choose your theme, then you click on generate. Uh, here's the fun part. So I am not typing anything in the computer and the tool is going to go ahead and do everything okay so as you can see it's starting to actually generate uh, the cards remember we told it to create eight cards so this is only going to take maybe 30 seconds and this is also going to uh, include the images as well so and also as you can see it's going to give you some images and if, if it doesn't give you an image that you like or if you get a page or so where there are no images you can just simply add the images after the fact okay so let's see where we are here okay we're on okay i think we're on the last card here okay so now as you can see you see all of the content okay we have a little banner here on the right okay Okay, and I'm just scrolling up. Okay, okay, and here's the cover page. I like the image that it did for the cover page. Okay, you can also, if you don't want your name here, you can just delete that. And you can also add in a title as you want to. But I just want to just <clears throat> like to keep this quick. What I'm going to do now is let's do this. I'm just hitting enter and then backspace. Okay, so now you see right here. The image, okay, and what we want to do is just click on that. Now we want to click on AI images. There's several different ways to do this, folks. So what's going to happen is based on the content here, it's going to automatically give you a prompt. Now, you can enhance this prompt if you want to, but I'm just going to keep this simple. And if you want the aspect ratio, if you want it to be square, let's just make this landscape. So you've got three choices here, so let's do landscape. And all you have to do now, folks, is just click on generate. So let's just do that. Okay, it won't take long. It's going to give us a, a set of images. I think it's going to give us either three or four here. Uh, and then we can just select uh, the image we want. Then we can decide the, you know, whether we want it centered on the page or, or, or left or right aligned. Okay, so see the, and remember when we chose, when we put in the instructions, we told us to do illustrations. Okay, so he, so it automatically by default selected this one, but you can also choose this image or this image. Okay, I'll just go with the first one. Okay, and now right here, you see the horizontal alignment? Just click on the image and that'll give you the alignment. Okay, we center that. Boom. Okay, so now we turn this page and add an image. And you can go through and do this on any page that you want. I would actually add another image on this page. I might have it make this one look prettier. And anytime you can right here edit with AI, you can ask it just to do whatever you want. You can improve the writing. You can see all these things. But I want to keep this simple. And I want to go ahead and show you the actual export process. So you guys can see with this PDF. We're going to export it as a PDF. Okay, so see here. We just go uh, click here on the ellipsis we're going to go export okay you have several options it exports to PDF PowerPoint or you can actually do it as a PNG if you want to use it on you know a, a mock-up or something like that let's go ahead and export this as a PDF and it's only going to take uh, I don't know maybe 20 seconds or so and I'll show you what that actual lead magnet PDF looks like now I wouldn't just stop here I would actually go through this entire document and change images, I would add call to actions, I would add some other content. But the lead magnet is done. You just have to put the finishing touches on it. 
and that will be pretty much it. So I'm keeping this at a basic level. Uh, I will be doing other videos where we're going to more intermediate and definitely more advanced uh, ways to create any kind of documents you want uh, using Gamma. So let's take a look at this PDF that we created here. Let me just go here. Okay, let's just do Acrobat just once. Okay, now, see, here's the guide. Here's the lead magnet right here. See, this is the cover page. Okay, remember that graphic that we created here? And remember, it's eight cards. Like I said, you can go up to 30 cards depending on your plan. Okay, so we just scroll down. And there you have a lead magnet. Like I said, you would take this lead magnet and add in, you know, your website address, your logo, your call to action, any other special offers that you have or anything else. And then you can just obviously make a mock-up, you know, if you want by using this image here. I would actually download this image back in Gamma as a PNG and I'll just make this my cover. And I'll actually, you know, put a nice, you know, actually I would just use this and make this as a, <clears throat> as a cover. So I just want to show you guys just the basics of, um, you know, creating a lead magnet, uh, with Claude. You can also use uh, ChatGPT as well if you want, but I just like uh, creating my own custom projects uh, and artifacts and Claude and just having it do it for me. So I hope you liked this video. Uh, if you did, please like, subscribe, share, click the notification bell, share this with a friend. And I want to thank you guys uh, for taking the time to watch this video and just stay tuned for the next one. You guys have a great day.